way also. I have the, I did, I done that with the previous section. Look for sine, for sine x. When you differentiate sine x with respect to x, it is clear. When you differentiate sine x with respect to x, it is cosine x. Now, if you have instead of x, you have another function. You have a function, a function of x, not x. Just you need to multiply by the derivative of that function. For the table of in, uh, integral uh, of derivatives, you need now to update it and include all of these stuff. Similarly, for the power, when you have u to the power n, you will differentiate it as usual. Just what you will do more, you will multiply by the derivative. We know that the derivative of e to the power x, it is uh, itself. Indeed, if you have another base other than e, like a or b or whatever, it will be also the same, but you need to multiply by the ln of b. We used the shared rule to prove this, and you just need to recall it and add it, please, add it to your table of derivatives. This question is, uh, I have showed you this question in 3.2. I, I believe that this should be here, and uh, this is, this is uh, 3.2 because we have uh, the quotient rule. It is 3.3 because we have uh, trigonometric functions and it is 3.4 because we have a function of another function. So this question, I, I think it is better to be moved to section 3.4. I will do that in the future, inshallah. For now, I have sh uh, showed you this uh, in 3.3, uh, I think. Now, how to solve or how to find the derivative uh, of this function? Do we need to differentiate? What is the question? The question is find the slope of the tangent line. What is the slope of the tangent lines? I will usually prefer to call it M sub T, the slope of the tangent. So do you know that the slope of the tangent at a point will be equal to the derivative of that function at, at that point, okay? I think in the quiz of today, I, I give you I need to find the slope of the derivative. So if you want to differentiate the derivative to find the derivative, it will be the double derivative. Um, I don't know if it is the question for you or for the previous section. So this is one of the tricks that you need to be careful about. If you want to find the, the tangent line to a curve, you need to differentiate it. So if you want to find the tangent line to the curve F, differentiate it. If you want to find the tangent to the graph of the F of prime, differentiate it and so on. So what we need to do, Shabab, is to find the derivative and then evaluate it at pi over six. Is that clear? Please, Shabab, take a paper, take a pen and paper and start find the derivative practice. So what we will do to find the derivative of this function? We have a quotient. And some of you, they can simplify. If you want to simplify your function and write this one over sine, and this is cosine over sine, but it, you will make it long. I think it is better to differentiate directly, and you should know what are the derivatives of these functions. So what we will do, we will write the denominator, which is one plus two cotan three x, all squared. So this is the quotient rule. Now we will write the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator. Now, what we have here, we have a constant multiplied by a function. How to multiply a constant multiplied by a function? We will just multiply that constant by the derivative of that function. So now the derivative will be what? Three times the derivative of cosecant. What is the derivative of cosecant, Shabab? Minus cosecant cotan. It's negative itself times cotan x. You should know that. Now I differentiated. I have differentiated cosecant. What I need to do more, I need to differentiate what? 3x, because it is not x, it is 3x. So how to differentiate 3x? The derivative is what? Is a 3. So let me simplify it, because I don't have more space here for the next term. So I will simplify this now, Shabab. It will be 3 times negative 3, so this will be negative 9. Here, we will have negative 9, and I'm going to write the rest. Cosecant 3x cotan. 3x. So this is the denominator times the derivative of the denominator. Minus, minus what? The denominator times the derivative of the denominator. What is the derivative of the denominator? The derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of 2 cotan. We will multiply by 2. 2. 
And what is the derivative of cotan? The derivative of cotan, it is negative cosecant squared. You should know that, ya shabab. The derivative of cotan, it is negative cosecant squared. What, what is remaining is the derivative of the inner function. So I'm going to multiply by 3x. So to make it easier, I will simplify it up like this. So I will write just here, negative uh, 6 cosecant squared 3x. Is that correct? What I did, 2 times 3, what the, the, that one is the negative. So now what we want, ya shabab, we want, uh, you can simplify if you want. It depends on what you want. You can stop here, you can stop here, ya shabab, or you can continue. It depends on what you want. You want to simplify, to put it equal to zero, to do what? Now, if you put it, uh, now, if you uh, put the derivative, if you want to evaluate, you can evaluate now. But let me do one step for you to simplify. This will be negative nine. This multiply by this, cosecant three x cotan 3x طبعاً I said you can you can substitute uh, plus this will be it will be minus minus 18 uh, cosecant 3x cotan squared 3x correct me if I'm wrong يا شباب this will be plus uh, doctor doctor you forget you forget about one plus two cotan 3x uh, the inner the inner function uh, aren't we supposed to uh, make it three because we differentiate it? Yes, we did. We differentiate it. Where it is? We don't have 3x. Where, where we don't have 3x? We multiply the, the denominator by the derivative of the denominator. Then, then the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the denominator. We multiply this 3 by this 2. It becomes 6. Are you okay with that? You got my point? Yes, yes. Now let's now, yeah, shabab substitute. Now we need to find the derivative at pi over six. Now you know when you have three x, if you bought instead of three x pi over six, what it will be? It will be pi over two. Am I right? So now here, I what I will do? I will find the derivative at pi over six. So instead of pi of instead of three x, I will write what? Instead of this three x, I will write pi over two by over two also here by over two here by over two and in the last one also by over two and in the denominator by over two now do you do you remember what is cotan by over two yes shabab what is it it is cosine by over two over sine by over two which will be what Zero over one, which will be zero. So this will be zero wherever, wherever you have cotan, it will be zero. So this will be zero. So we left up with what? Whatever that one is, and here we have one. We have one, but it will be zero at the end. So this will be zero minus zero plus what will be cos? Uh, this is squared, not not cubed. Doctor, what about uh, by over six? Yes, huh? What about by over six? We substitute here, x is by over six. We need when x when x is by over six. We put it here. Okay, we put it here uh, by over two. By over six, we bought x equals it was three x. Bought instead of oh. x by over six. What it will be? Okay. It will be by over two. So this is three x. The three x will be by over two. X is by over six. When x is by over six, three x will be by over two. Now this will be zero, zero, and we have there 18 times what? Times one over one plus, this is zero also. So this will be one plus zero all squared. So it will be 18 over one, which will be 18. And the right answer is C. Any question, Shabab, please, about this? This is- Yes, I, I have one problem. Why we, why we multiply uh, three to the minus two there? Why we multiply by three? Yeah. Because of the chair rule, we have used the chair rule. What we what we are saying, yeah, for three classes. What we what we said, yeah, yeah, Abdul Aziz, yeah, Abdul Aziz. What we are what we are saying here, yeah, Abdul Aziz. We multiply by what? If you have x to the power n, if you find the derivative, the derivative will be x n minus one. 
But if you have a function, a function of, a, of x, not x, you need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function, like 3x. If you have x to the power 2, all derivative, it is 2x squared minus 1. So it will be 2x. Now, if you have 3x all to the power 2, what you will do to differentiate it? It will be 3x to the power. It will be 2 times 3x all to the power 1 multiplied by 3. You should multiply by the derivative of the inner function. What is the inner function here? It is not x. It is 3x. What is the derivative of 3x here, yeah, Abdul Aziz? Hello? It's 3. So you know from where we, we multiply by 3? By the chair rule. You need to revise 3.4, ya shabab. This is the chair rule. You need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. Revise the examples that we had. Now also we will apply it here. Now let's see, ya shabab, now solve these together, please. Which one of the following is true? Is this true? Do you remember? I think we didn't study this before, did we? Uh, what is the derivative of ln x? It is 1 over x. We will study it later, I think. The derivative of uh, the, the ln x, it is 1 over x. But the ln, ln 10, ln 10 is a number. Is there x here, Shabab? Do we have x here? We don't have x. So what is the derivative of this? Zero. Zero. It will be zero. Let me, let me go to the next slide. So the derivative of this one, Shabab, is zero because the derivative of any constant is zero. Now, the, the next one, if f is differentiable, then the derivative of f of the square root of x, it is f prime of x over two square root of x. Taban, here we need to apply, ya Abdul Aziz, we need here to apply the chair rule. x. It is square root of x. So how to differentiate this, Shabab? How to differentiate this by using the chair rule? What you will do? You will differentiate f as it is. Then you will multiply by what, Abdul Aziz? Tell me. By the, by the derivative, by the derivative of the square root. What is the derivative of the square root, Abdul Aziz? One over two square root yeah. of x. Yes. So I am Usama, doctor, not Abdul Aziz. So this will be a shabab what? F prime of what? Of a square root of x multiplied by the, the one over two square root of x. Is that true? It looks okay. Is that correct? Is this correct? It is not correct. Look what we have here. This is x and this is the square root of what? Of x. So this is false. What is, what is correct is this. It should be the square root. Now, the derivative of 10 to the power x, the derivative of 10 to the power x, is it, is it 10 to the power x minus 1 multiplied by x? If you have x to the power 10, what is the derivative of x to the power 10? This is power function. The derivative of x to the power 10, it is 10x to the power 9. This is power function. But if you have, if you have 10 to the power x, this is, this is not true. This is exponential function. What is the derivative of b to the power x, ya shabab? The derivative of b to the power x is b to the power x times ln b. But this is not true. What is true is that the derivative of 10 to the power x is 10 to the power x ln 10. The exponential function derivative. Now, let's check this one. The derivative of the square root of the function, not, not the f of the square root. Compare this with this. Again, here we need to differentiate first the square root. You know what is the derivative of the square root of uh, anything. It is 1 over 2 the square root. But now you need to multiply just by the derivative of the inner function. So what we will do to, to find the derivative, it will be the, the, the square 1 over 2 the square root of f of x times the derivative of what is inside. What is inside the, the root is the derivative of f. And this is true. This is true. This is exactly what we have. Now, for sure, because this is the answer, this is the true, this one is false. Why this one is false, yes, Shabab? Who can tell me why this is false? There is one true only. Uh-huh. <clears throat> why? <clears throat> there is only one true. <laughs> no, no, no. This is not an answer. 
I can give you just this question and ask you to tell me why this is not false, not true. What you will say? Because it is uh, don't different uh, differentiable. In general, in general, the derivative of the absolute value is not the absolute value of the derivative. This is in general. So this is always not true. But here for this specific one, uh, I removed the justification of, uh, I think, Mr. Shahrani. I removed that. Uh, it is not accurate indeed. The best explanation for this, Shabab, is what? Find this, find this, write it without absolute value, differentiate it, and write this without absolute value and compare between them. You, you, you see clearly that they are not the same. So this is what I did for you and I have uploaded the slides of 3.2 again, I think. So now look, this is the absolute value of X squared plus X. It is itself or the negative of itself. This is when it is positive and when it is positive, this is what you have. When it is negative, this is what you have. Now, if you differentiate, it will be this minus this and now you need to remove Taban zero at zero and at negative one because it will not be differentiable this one it is not differentiable the derivative mm -hmm. from the left and derivative from the right for uh, at, at at zero it is not the same as the derivative from the right the same the same for, for negative one also it is not the same the derivative from the left is not the derivative as the same as the derivative from the right now this is the derivative Shabbat. now this is the derivative this is one this one here it is it is 2x plus 1 and the negative 2x minus 1. This is when x greater than 0 or less than negative 1. This is when x between negative 1 and 0. But look at, look at this. Look at this. The absolute value of 2x plus 1. Here it is. The absolute value of 2x plus 1. It is 2x plus 1 and the negative 2x minus 1. But this one, if x is greater than negative 1 half, this is when x is less than a half. And look, are they the same? Is this function? Is it the same as this function? Of course not. They are not the same. Uh, let's go to, I will give you, Shabab, please, one minute. One minute to solve this easy question. One minute to solve this easy question. Please. And I will open a vote for you, polling for you, if you want to share your answer. Try Shabab to take a pen and paper and start practice. We will have a quiz, uh, next quiz about, uh, mainly about 3.4. Uh, most of the questions will be from section 3.4, but it will be related to the ideas before. How many questions are there gonna be? I said Shabab, at least five. There could be more, maybe five, six, seven, eight, ten. 10, at least five. We will see. And I can decide about the time and the number of the questions when I prepare the, qu the, the quiz. I didn't prepare it yet. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to grade even the previous quiz. So I will grade them inshallah, during the weekend or next week. By the way, Shabab, I have uploaded the solution. Always I will upload the solution for you. So you can just compare your solution with the, with the typical solution and you can estimate your grade. Don't wait for me to until I grade it. You can expect what, what is the grade that you will uh, get, inshallah. So uh, 22, 23 students, I will end the, 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 the voting. If you don't mind, if you have an answer, you can choose it now. So the answer, let me share with you the results first. So mashallah, most of you, they, uh, they go with, uh, with the right choice. The right choice is six. The right answer is six. Let's see together why it is six. And you can solve it by two methods, I think, or more. But let me solve it by the typical method here. You have y here as a function of what? You have y as a function of x. Uh, sorry, y as a function of u. And u as a function of x. Let's say g of x. So now you will apply, you will apply the chair rule. Now, now the derivative. I need, I need the derivative of y with respect to x. The derivative of y with respect to x, it will be the derivative of y with respect to u at the beginning, times the derivative of u with respect to x. This is the chair rule. So you can substitute here. In this example, it is easy, but in others, it will not be easy. 
So it is better to apply it like this. Now, what is the derivative of y with respect to u? What is the derivative of this, Shabab, with respect to u? It will be 3 times 4, it will be 12, u to the power 3 plus 0, because the derivative of 1 is 0. This is the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. Here it is. What is the derivative of u with respect to x? It is 1 over 2 square root of x. Now substitute, it is 12 times, what is the u? u is the square root of x to the power 3, 1 over 2 the square root of x. Now 12 over 2 will be 6. Square root of 3 to the power 3, it means that you have it 3 times. So one of them will be cancelled with this one, and you still have two of them, which will be x. So the answer is 6x. Now, this is the derivative of y at any x. Now, the question is, what is the derivative at evaluated at x equals 1? Here it is. Now, this means that you bought x equals to 1, so it will be 6. The answer is 6. Let's have another question because we don't have much time. Yalla, Shabab, one minute to solve this. I will give you one minute to solve this. And again, I will launch a polling for you. Polling pool, yes. Now it is ready. You can choose the right answer. The idea is easy also. Just you need to apply the share rule. You need to find the slope of the slope of the normal line. Halina bas akid lakum. Ish ma'ana slope of the normal line? M N. You know that the slope of the normal line is negative one over the slope of the tangent line. Can you find the slope of the tangent line? Yes, I have the function, so I can just find the derivative. So it will be one negative one over the derivative of g at 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 x equals two. So here it is. So our target now is to find the derivative at two. Find the value of the derivative of g at two. Yalla, shabab. Find g prime at two. In one minute, we don't have time. We have just two minutes to the end of the class. MashaAllah, there are eight students. They have answered, uh, already answered the question, but not correctly. Only, only, how many students they got the right answer? Let me check. Five, excellent. Five questions with the right answer, but the others, they are not. Let me share with you, Shabab, the results. Uh, if you have time, if you have an answer now, you can enter it. ممكن كمان تجرب حظك تشوف إنك موفق ولا لا يعني في الاختبارات. But I don't advise you to do that. Let me share with you and end the polling and share with you. A seven, B seven, twelve with C. So the answer is C. Yes, you are right. The right answer is C. Look, the answer is C. Now let's see, Shabab. Let's see. Let's see why the answer is C. Now what you will do, you will find the derivative, the derivative of x uh, of g. The, the g g is a function of f, so it is a function of another function. Now differentiate the square root. You know that the derivative of the square root it is one over two the square root, which is one plus three. Now you need to multiply by the derivative of this function. So multiply by the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of 3f is 3f prime. This is the derivative in general. Now evaluate it at what? At 2. So it will be 3f prime at 2 over 2 square root of 1 plus 3f at 2. Substitute 3 times. What is f prime at 2? It is 16. Over 2 times the square root of of 1 plus uh, f of 2 is 5 so 3 times 5 it will be 15. so what we have we have 3 times 16 over 2 square root of 16 which will be uh, 3 times uh, 4 over 2 because this will be 4 if you want to simplify it more this will be 3 times square root of 16 over 2 which is 3 times 4 over 2 which will be 12 over 2 which will be 6. Now, this is g prime at 2. Now, the slope here, go back here to here. Substitute now. This will be equals to negative 1 over 6. And this makes the right answer as c. Excellent, Ya Shabab. Uh, thank you very much. See you, inshallah. Uh, next Sunday, have a nice weekend and not hard working. It should be hard working, Ya Shabab. 
weekend because you have met term you have 25 percent of the course you know 75 75 uh, points you will have five 15 questions five five points for each question out of 300. any question okay, so anyone? Uh, doctor yes doctor. the next class the quiz the long quiz again the next class is the yes. long quiz it will be long quiz yes plus plus uh, 3.5 inshallah we will start 3.5 like in 20 minutes and 30 minutes for the long quiz it will be two quizzes yeah it's quiz number seven and quiz number eight طيب دكتور عندي سؤال اسمح كوكلي بليز يوم يوم الاختبار ليه ما يصير يوم الثلاثاء يكون احسن من يوم الاحد عشان مد الكيمستري يصير مراجعه مره واحده ايش راح تستفيد ما عندي مشكله لو ودكم اياه الثلاثاء انا ما تفرق معي اشوف الثلاثاء ايش راح تستفيد لما تاخذ الاختبار يوم ال... يعني يوم ال... ال... الكويز يوم ال... يوم الاختبار ما راح ما راح يفيدك بشيء ليش يكون مراجعه يعني اذا ما ضبطت في الكويز ما راح تتعلم ما راح يكون عندك وقت تعرف الاشياء اللي انت كويس فيها والاشياء اللي ما انتش كويس فيها. الهدف من الكويز انك تكون جاهز تتدرب. احنا لا. خلصنا الماتيريال قبل يومين او قبل ثلاث ايام فانتم جاهزين. قصدي لانه ما في وقت اراجع اذا عندي مد كمستري مثلا. في وقت احنا اخذنا اوريدي كويزات في 2.8 و3.1 و3.2 و3.3 ما ظل معك الا 3.4 بس راجع الاسبوع هذا. بكره وبعده ركز على 3.4. دكتور ال 3.4 راح يراجع لك كل كل اللي قبل يعني اذا فهمت 3.4 صح راح تفهم كل اللي قبل صح. دكتور. طبعا انا يا شباب اخذت تصويت في الكلاس اللي فات، الكلاس اللي قبلكم اخذت تصويت وكانت الاغلبيه مع الاحد فما عاد اخذت معكم تصويت. آه ما عاد تفرق يعني ات ويل بي ذا سيم طبعا. طبعا دكتور. انا وجهه نظرك لكن راي الاغلبيه ورايي انا كمان انه تكون قبل و... قبل الاختبار بوقت كافي عشان تتاكد ايش الاشياء اللي انت تحتاج تركز عليها في اليومين اللي باقيه يعني. الاحد او المتوسط الاحد مناسب انا انا اي بيليف سو يعني انا اخترت لانه مناسب لكم ان شاء الله فحاول على قد ما تقدر انك تحضر حالك لكن راح يكون عندك وقت 